Howdy y'all, welcome to my RV14A build down here in Austin, Texas. Uh, finally making some more progress. Did, yesterday was the big attach the fuselage to the empennage day. Um, got my neighbor to come over and help me. And you can see here, I'm just kind of cleaning up, making space so I can move parts around. Ooh, you know, I had used four saw horses and, and a little rolly table you see as I proceed along. You know, first I put my fuselage as far forward in my garage as I could, measure it out to make sure the whole thing's gonna fit when I put the two parts together. Uh, and then we use a rolly table to kind of scoot over between the, the back two saw horses while lifting up the front so we didn't dent anything and just slowly worked to align the empennage and the fuselage together on the saw horses. Once we get, kind of got that initial setup in there where we're about 10 inches apart, um, the rest of it is a lot of, you know, just following the van's procedure, you know, lift, lifting up the, the front end of the aft fuselage. Uh, so it sits over the, the skin of the forward fuselage And then we just slowly, you'll see us kind of slowly work it forward and get the holes to line up. Here I'm just strapping down so that the fuselage doesn't move around while we're moving the empennage forward. That's written in the procedure. So that nothing you're gonna see here is anything different than you're gonna see in the Vans procedure. So here, you know, we've got it within just a few inches and slowly starting to work the skin into the fuselage and get everything lined up. See here, just changed out the back sawhorse for my uh, another workbench that was a better height than the sawhorse for, for holding up the empennage. And we just kind of keep working slowly, moving things together. You know, didn't force anything, just took time you know, just, you know, inch by inch, a fraction of an inch until everything got together. Here we're kind of seeing, figured out we're a little bit twisted on the empennage because um, holes weren't quite lining up and we were trying to figure out, do we need to go left, do we need to go right? So you can take a mechanical designer, an electrical designer, what do you get? Uh, the indecision. So we finally started figuring out which way we need to rotate it just slightly to get everything lined up. You can see a little bit of a twist and start just slowly walking it, the empennage skin underneath the baggage compartment uh, ribs. And you know, still having a little bit of misalignment with the rotation of it. And then we finally get an alignment and then Rocky decides that he's gonna help. Not really. Good dog, but he thinks he needs to lick me when I lay on the ground. Not particularly helpful. So now I've actually got a couple of thinkos in underneath holding the two halves together. So now it's just slowly lifting the back end up and rocking it forward until everything comes in alignment, making sure nothing binds as, as it goes down. Look at that, just slowly. Oh, it was so good. Good day. Finally feel like I'm starting to make progress again. And here I am, I'm putting in a couple of clicos for the vertical, you know, support the uh, empennage a little bit. Start checking, you know, Chris is there helping check alignment as I get more clicos in. But yeah, just go, go slow, take your time, follow the instructions. It's really fairly easy. Um, I was a little bit nervous about it. Now I've done it, it's like, oh, well, that wasn't bad. But yeah, so <laughs> I just have enough room for this without the engine mount. I think to get the engine mount in, I still have another couple of feet that I can move back into the garage uh, when I get to that stage. But for now, this will be good. Um, then I need to start working on a rotisserie so I can start working on other things on the interior. But I have all my parts, so I just need to keep building. Cold weather down here in Austin is, is slowing me down. Um, 
when we were doing this, it was about 40 degrees, so we were both getting kind of cold. But once you get started, you kind of have to keep going. Well, that just about does it for this one. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Take care.